Hi, this is Dwayne from Lancaster County Marine here in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to take a closer look at a Chaparral 21 Surf. This particular Surf is set up with the 250 Mercruiser Bravo 4S Outdrive with the twin forward facing stainless steel props. You'll notice we lead with the four blade and the trailing prop is a three blade polished stainless steel. We have the patented Malibu Surf Gates which throw that ideal wake. Ballast midship on this boat. The, de the design of the hull is made to give us the surf wake. We have the full uh, touch screen on dash, which enables us to fill the ballast, control the audio, cruise control, launch control, troll control. Everything that Merc Cruiser offers with this package is all incorporated into the multifunction display on the dash. Full complement of gauges and multiple choices to give you uh, whatever you want on screen from navigation, fish finding. You'll see the extended swim platform with an easy boarding ladder. If we come over here to the uh, driver's side, so we keep our ladder in full view of the driver. Gives us complete drop down three step with a handle here and a handle up top. Recess cleats, so our pull up cleats Give us the ability to tie up, but not snag you or your lines until you want them. If we look from the front, you'll notice that this particular trailer, front to back, is made with the uh, trailering skid plates so we don't ever contact our props or drive. It puts the boat at the right elevation. It is a four bunk drive on trailer. It is galvanized steel frame that has been powder coated. It has the custom steel fenders. The awesome uh, aluminum wheels on the Coyote with four-wheel disc brakes, matching spare tire. Coming front, we have the swing tongue so you can garage keep this boat. And that tower does have two quick pull pins and lays down. I'll demo that shortly so you can see how it's a one-handed operation. The boat has docking lights on it, an anchor locker forward. It's a sweet look of design. And this was special ordered in the steel blue with the black bottom. This is someone's pride and joy. So we'd like to take your tour up inside the boat. The Chaparral Surf swim platform is more like an activity platform. It gives us this duckbill extension back here, completely covering up the drive and the props, making it safe to surf behind because it is a forward-facing propeller. Unlike the inboards that cannot get in shallow water and can't trim, this particular drive assembly has the hydraulic power trim, which enables you to lift it up and get clear in shallower water. The rumble seat on the back is pretty awesome because while your friends are swimming, you can chill on the back sun deck. And if you wish, we have the ability to take left and right walkthroughs and turn either one into a chase lounge. So this full on large sun deck with plenty of space, including the full bench across to seat four of your friends, is certainly well thought out. And everything is first class on Chaparral stitch work. The upholstery is a silicon fabric, which the Envision fabric is giving us durability, built in stain resistance, easy cleaning. You'll see all of our non skid lids as we walk into the boat, access to batteries and storage. As I come on board, first person in the boat can easily remove our stern cushions, which snap out and give us this one, two, three step walk in access to an onboard air pump so we can blow up our tubes and inflatables. And this boat will be used for more than just wake surfing. You will be king of wakeboarding. You will be slalom skiing, teaching your friends on the combo pair. They put a midship cooler, all foam insulated. I believe it's 72 quart, so it's sizable. We'll see bilge access on the Merc Cruiser. It's full around space to work, but this is fully emissions control, multi-port fuel injection, turnkey starting, electronically throttled and shifted. So we have a smart throttle that maintains speed through your turns. And as you straighten out, it acts as cruise control without overspeeding. But this particular package is already given the, the Mercury Smart Tow, which enables you to control the speed for each individual rider. It does have a simple pump for uh, winterization 
when we get to early spring and late fall operation, you don't have to worry about anything freezing. On well, this particular package, there's a engine uh, belt driven seawater pump forward, which pumps high volume, keeps everything cool. Typical of our cruiser, everything is all in line, colored in sight, so easy maintenance. Outdrive oil reservoir, which the competition doesn't even have, power steering, and of course, Merc Cruiser reliability and made in the US. Coming forward, will give us a chance to light up. Your Simrad will come on, electronic throttle controls. It does equip with active trim. Active trim means you have one of five trim profiles that you can set from casual to aggressive, and it will trim the boat with the aid of a GPS. So it enables the best performance possible, and the best trim angle available. We do have the kickups to the seat for both the driver and the passenger, so we can stand for docking in a close quarters. We can use it as a leaning post to see, so we're actually now above the windshield. But this boat is a deep cockpit with a high windshield, good rake, and I'm actually looking through the glass at the horizon. So on dash, we have all of our surf controls giving us addition of ballast, water in and out, our speed, the ramp angle we're looking for on our wake, depth of the water, left or right surf gates, the speed we're maintaining, trim angle. So everything is completely on screen at your fingertips. You can set it up to be navigation, fish finding. And as I said earlier, there's multiple sets of instrumentation. So it does show your engine hours, trim, volts, fully information. Your push buttons down below are all stainless steel, all circuit breakered under the dash. We don't use any fuses like the competition. You have a start and stop button or easy on with the key because it's a smart start. The engine's that quiet. You won't be starting it twice because it won't let you make that mistake. But everything you turn on and leave on, it gives you an indicator light so you know you've left it on. Sport wheel that's tiltable. My seat slides front and back, swivels, turns back to meet your friends. But furthermore, I love this in the morning, you've got the door so we can enclose the bow, keep the wind out. If we do the walk through and open up, we've got two very large storage compartments under, under dash, which are huge. So hold all your spare life jackets, change of clothing, extra safety gear, and coming forward, we're stepping up and out of the boat. If the center cushion's removed, it's all non-skid diamond plate, so we don't slip when we're getting a footing out onto the dock. We do have a built-in anchor locker. Anchor's actually keyed in there so it doesn't dance around, and it has a place to hook up your line and chain. And of course, this boat was equipped with a custom mooring cover, plus bow cover, snap around, and complete cockpit cover to conceal the interior on those days when you unfortunately get rain. The bow is very deep, wide, extended, so you got plenty of room to stretch out with a stainless steel grab rail. So many companies put the small plastic handles or minimal grab area. All of our speakers and interior floor lighting lights up blue, so when you're getting out of the boat at night, the cockpit lighting gives you good glow. All of our sea deck inside unsnaps, and your boat is able to rinse everything to the stern. And that does go to the bilge, which can be pumped overboard with the automatic pump. We are outfitted to hold 12 passengers. So this boat is fully foam filled. And below deck, we do conceal not only additional storage, but when the covers are pulled out or your skis or equipment, we have onboard ballast. So the complete floor locker can give you that midship weight as desired. So if you're interested in this boat or you have any questions, I got one more thing to demo. And that is that we have now taken the Velocity Arch Tower to the next level. Most companies, when you remove that and you unlock the tower with screws or we actually use a simple toggle, the tower does not fall down on the chaparral. It's simple one hand down, one hand up. So you're going to look like Superman. And anybody can do that. Relock it in place. So it allows you to garage keep it or come under a low bridge or tree limbs in the yard. I think the beauty of this boat is you're going to be out there entertaining, chilling hanging out at the sandbar, wake surfing, wakeboarding, water skiing, teaching your family and friends all what it's about. So if you have more questions on this boat, come check it out at our website at lcmboating.com. Check it out in our showroom here in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. 
or give us a call at 717-859-1121. Thanks for your time.